Chapter 28 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to the ruler of Tyre, Ah this is what the sovereign Lord says, A in the pride of your heart you say, I am a God I sit on the throne of a God in the heart of the seas. But you are a mere mortal and not a God, though you think you are as wise as a God. Are you wiser than Daniel? Is no secret hidden from you? By your wisdom and understanding you have gained wealth for yourself and amassed gold and silver in your treasuries. By your great skill in trading you have increased your wealth, and because of your wealth your heart has grown proud. A therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, A because you think you are wise, as wise as a god. I am going to bring foreigners against you, the most ruthless of nations they will draw their swords against your beauty and wisdom and pierce your shining splendor. They will bring you down to the pit, and you will die a violent death in the heart of the seas. Will you then say, I am a god, in the presence of those who kill you? You will be but a mortal, not a god, in the hands of those who slay you. You will die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, Take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to him, Ah this is what the sovereign lord says, and you were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect and beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone adorned you, carnelian, chrysolite and emerald, topaz, onyx and jasper, lapis lazuli, turquoise and beryl. Your settings and mountings were made of gold on the day you were created they were prepared. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God you walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade you were filled with violence, and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God, and I expelled you, guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth I made a spectacle of you before kings. By your many sins and dishonest trade you have desecrated your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out from you, and it consumed you, and I reduced you to ashes on the ground in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you are appalled that you you have come to a horrible end and will be no more. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Sidon and prophesy against her. And say, Ah this is what the Sovereign Lord says, A I am against you, Sidon, and among you I will display my glory. You will know that I am the Lord, when I inflict punishment on you and within you am proved to be holy. I will send a plague upon you and make blood flow in your streets. The slain will fall within you, with the sword against you on every side. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And no longer will the people of Israel have malicious neighbors who are painful briars and sharp thorns. Then they will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Ah this is what the Sovereign Lord says, When I gather the people of Israel from the nations where they have been scattered, I will be proved holy through them in the sight of the nations. Then they will live in their own land, which I gave to my servant Jacob. They will live there in safety and will build houses and plant vineyards. They will live in safety when I inflict punishment on all their neighbors who malign them. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. Chapter 29 In the tenth year, in the tenth month on the twelfth day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh king of Egypt and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak to him and say, Ah this is what the Sovereign Lord says, A I am against you, Pharaoh king of Egypt, you great monster lying among your streams. You say, The Nile belongs to me I made it for myself. But I will put hooks in your jaws and make the fish of your streams stick to your scales. I will pull you out from among your streams, with all the fish sticking to your scales. I will leave you in the desert you and all the fish of your streams. You will fall on the open field and not be gathered or picked up. I will give you as food to the beasts of the earth and the birds of the sky. Then all who live in Egypt will know that I am the Lord.
and you have been a staff of reed for the people of Israel. When they grasped you with their hands, you splintered and you tore open their shoulders when they leaned on you, you broke and their backs were wrenched. A therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will bring a sword against you and kill both man and beast. Egypt will become a desolate wasteland. Then they will know that I am the Lord. A because you said, the Nile is mine I made it. Therefore I am against you and against your streams, and I will make the land of Egypt a ruin and a desolate waste from Migdal to Aswan, as far as the border of Cush. The foot of neither man nor beast will pass through it no one will live there for forty years. I will make the land of Egypt desolate among devastated lands, and her cities will lie desolate forty years among ruined cities. And I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations and scatter them through the countries. A yet this is what the Sovereign Lord says, at the end of forty years I will gather the Egyptians from the nations where they were scattered. I will bring them back from captivity and return them to Upper Egypt, the land of their ancestry. There they will be a lowly kingdom. It will be the lowliest of kingdoms and will never again exalt itself above the other nations. I will make it so weak that it will never again rule over the nations. Egypt will no longer be a source of confidence for the people of Israel but will be a reminder of their sin in turning to her for help. Then they will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. In the twenty-seventh year, in the first month on the first day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon drove his army in a hard campaign against Tyre every head was rubbed bare and every shoulder may draw. Yet he and his army got no reward from the campaign he led against Tyre. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am going to give Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and he will carry off its wealth. He will loot and plunder the land as pay for his army. I have given him Egypt as a reward for his efforts because he and his army did it for me, declares the Sovereign Lord. On that day I will make a horn grow for the Israelites and I will open your mouth among them. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Chapter 30 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy and say, Ah this is what the Sovereign Lord says, A wail and say, Alas for that day. For the day is near, the day of the Lord is nearer a day of clouds, a time of doom for the nations. A sword will come against Egypt, and anguish will come upon Gush. When the slain fall in Egypt, her wealth will be carried away and her foundations to worn down. Gush and Libya, Lydia and all Arabia, Cub and the people of the covenant land will fall by the sword along with Egypt. Ah this is what the Lord says, ah the allies of Egypt will fall and her proud strength will fail. From Migdal to Aswan they will fall by the sword within her, declares the Sovereign Lord. A they will be desolate among desolate lands, and their cities will lie among ruined cities. Then they will know that I am the Lord, when I set fire to Egypt and all her helpers are crushed. A on that day messengers will go out from me in ships to frighten Gush out of her complacency. Anguish will take hold of them on the day of Egypt's doom, for it is sure to come. Ah this is what the Sovereign Lord says. A I will put an end to the hordes of Egypt by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon. He and his army the most ruthless of nations will be brought in to destroy the land. They will draw their swords against Egypt and fill the land with the slain. I will dry up the waters of the Nile and sell the land to an evil nation by the hand of foreigners I will lay waste the land and everything in it. I the Lord have spoken. Ah this is what the Sovereign Lord says. A. I will destroy the idols and put an end to the images in Memphis. No longer will there be a prince in Egypt, and I will spread fear throughout the land. I will lay waste up or Egypt, set fire to zone and inflict punishment on Thebes. I will pour out my wrath on Belusim, the stronghold of Egypt, and wipe out the hordes of Thebes. I will set fire to Egypt Belusim will writhe in agony. Thebes will be taken by storm Memphis will be in constant distress. The young men of Heliopolis and Bubastis will fall by the sword, and the cities themselves will go into captivity. Dark will be the day at Tapanhas when I break the yoke of Egypt there her proud strength will come to an end. She will be covered with clouds, 
and her villages will go into captivity. So I will inflict punishment on Egypt, and they will know that I am the Lord. In the eleventh year, in this first month on the seventh day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh king of Egypt. It has not been bound up to be healed or put in a splint so that it may become strong enough to hold a sword. Therefore this is what the sovereign Lord says, I am against Pharaoh king of Egypt. I will break both his arms, the good arm as well as the broken one, and make the sword fall from his hand. I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations and scatter them through the countries. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand, but I will break the arms of Pharaoh, and he will groan before him like a mortally wounded man. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, but the arms of Pharaoh will fall limp. Then they will know that I am the Lord, when I put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon and he brandishes it against Egypt. I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations and scatter them through the countries. Then they will know that I am the Lord.